We are going to fix your 200 yard game right here, right now. It's going to be better than ever. We're gonna get you so dialed in that you fear nothing from 200 yards. Right down the middle. That's what we want. Save you the most strokes available in your game. For starters, let's begin with the beginning. What you should never, ever, ever do when it comes to your 200 yard game is not subscribe, not, not subscribe to this channel. Okay, I'm kidding. That's not number one. Number one is this. So many times we get a long iron in our hand. I see this forever, I've seen this. And we start jacking our hands forward. Hands forward is going to produce this type of shot. Get your hands forward and then bam, long iron in your hand. What do you think is gonna happen? See, this is the kind of stuff that you're gonna deal with. Do you, do you do that? Do you snap hook that? Smother hook is what we like to call that horrid shot. We don't want smother hooks. Here's what happens. When you start putting your hands forward, okay? One, well, it opens up the face and your hands forward with an open face looks horrible to your eye. So what you do is you square the face. But in reality, when your hands are that far forward and you square the face, you've just turned your long iron, four iron here, into like a driver, loftwise. And that, that's worse than a one iron. So you got these hands forward, you got that face shut. Now what do you do? Now you're in like no chance land. And we don't want you to be in no chance land. We want you to be in no problem land. So here's what you're gonna do. You guessed it, don't, do this. We're gonna back those hands up right to our center, middle, right here. And then I want you to do this for practice. Do a drill. This is where you should be all the time with like every shot in your bag, okay? Just FYI. I say this over and over and over and over. But right here, I want you to practice your four iron. I want your handle, I want everything straight, okay? On your belt buckle, straight away. And then I just want you to keep everything, keep the head where it is and back the handle up right onto the inside of your belt buckle, right here, right that much. That's, I want them to practice a little behind the ball, your hands, okay? When we back those hands up just a little bit, we're set up left eye here, set up normal with the hands right down the center and then just back the handle up just behind your belt buckle, like one inch right there. It's gonna feel weird, hands will be behind the ball, face is gonna look like you're adding loft to it. That's what we want. All of a sudden, what, you're, you're not gonna hit the greatest shots ever, and they should go high right like that. Well, that's what we want right now. Don't worry, we're gonna fix you up, but first we gotta correct one of the things you should never do, which was hands forward. We just did that, I want you to hit like 20 shots, really like 100, but 20 shots with those hands back here. Like, just add loft to that club then we can move on. Second thing you should never ever do, hitting your 200 yard shot, ever, I don't care what club you're using, all right, is this. Do not try to play a draw into these shots, into these holes, all right? Here's why. When you do that, typically what you're gonna do is back the ball up. So you're gonna back the ball up because you're gonna play the draw, you're gonna shut the face. A lot of people seem to think that if they try to play a draw with the long iron, it'll be a lot straighter. Do not do that, because so many other bad things happen when you do that. So if we just don't try to play the draw, we'll be good, because you do not want that club with that long iron swinging way to the inside like this. This is probably what will happen if you do that is once again, bad shot. You're coming way too inside on that and you get this dying snap hook or you will blast it way right. Neither of those two things we want all because we're trying to keep that club way too far to the inside. We do not want that, never ever do that. Long clubs should not be whipped inside. It's just you're 
you're ruining your margin of error. You want large margin of error when you do that small margin of error. So I want you to do this drill to correct that. Here we go. Just take two balls here. Here's the ball we're going to hit. And I want this second ball just inside the first ball about a foot behind it. Right there. That's it. Then I want to set up to hit this ball. I just don't want to come inside and hit that inside ball. I really want to focus on taking this outside here. And when I do that, one of the key ingredients is I really want to keep everything quiet on my lower body. So in other words, a lot of times we're whipping it way inside because we're trying to rotate hips, shoulders, everything is pulling this way and that pulls our hands that way. So we don't want that. So I really want to keep everything quiet, meaning it doesn't move very much, and take that club outside of that ball. And then your shots should start looking a little more like this, assuming you still have a good hand position and you don't jam those hands forward. So always double check that piece. I'm gonna outside that. There we go. Because we want this little pull fade. Well, that's a straight straight. Straight straight is good. But ideally, what I want you to start hitting right now is a pull fade. So set up good. Take it out there. Now, if that went straight, that means I could pull it more, meaning I could take it outside more. So there we go. We got room to go more outside of that ball. And if you really want to get brave, just roll it out a little bit farther, closer to the ball you're going to hit. All right. That feels uncomfortable. That felt pretty good. Pretty solid shot. There we go. We pulled it a little and it faded back. Look at that, I'm already at 195. We're almost where we wanna be. This is an easy one. And go figure, we haven't even addressed any technique in terms of our swing. We did setup, and then we're just doing a little drill to start getting you to work the club moving to the left a little bit and quieting everything down and having a proper takeaway here. So here we go, one more for you out here. Oh, that's great. The more you pull it right now, the better. That was good. I pulled it a lot and it drew. So that's good. I want it ultimately to fade, but not bad. I want to keep pulling it left, keep pulling it left. And then now we're ready to tackle the final piece. If you haven't done so already, I know you're subscribed here, but if you want to get deep dive into instructional content, private instructional site, link in the video description below, in case that is something you're interested in. Final piece of the pie here. Okay, we talked about it a little bit, and it is this. You typically do it when your hands go forward. You start shutting that face. So what we did was we moved those hands back. We, we even added loft for our practice drill, which is great. Now, you're gonna be tempted to square that face. What I want you to do is this drill, though. I do not want the face ultimately square when you hit it. I want you to have a slight open face when you make contact with the ball. This is going to be a game changer because what you're gonna do is start utilizing the sole and bounce of this club. You really want that to engage with the ground, not the leading edge. So the more we can get used to the sole and the bounce of the four iron, yes, it does have bounce on it, okay? And it's probably got probably 12 degrees of bounce a lot actually and so we want to open up that club face and practice hitting shots with the open face so hands everything great i want you to open the face previously we added loft here i want hands in the hands in the middle and i want you to open the face about that much it's going to look like you're going to shank that thing but don't worry just have faith practice everything you just did taking it out here pulling it you're going to hopefully hit this high cutter that's what you want to practice, is this guy. What you're doing is getting comfortable using the sole of this club and feeling it glide through the earth. Good ball position, hands perfect. Open that face even more this time. Keep opening it up. What this does when you open it up, it forces you to come and swing out to the left here which means you're gonna get the club head in front of your hands here 
and then you're going to be turning through just as you should when we put it all together here in a second. But this is forcing you to do certain things that uh, you need to do to execute the 200 yard game. Oh, that felt really good. And I'm feeling, yeah, we, that's what we want. When the high right, I'm feeling the back of the club hit the ground and do that like 20 shots. Now you're ready to dominate the 200 yard game. Here's what you're gonna do. You don't even have to do anything. Remember, we didn't work on technique. We changed a couple setup things and we did a couple drills which ultimately changed your technique. And ultimately, really, what it changed was your feel and your confidence. So now you're ready to go. Now you set up and you are ready to do everything you just practiced. When you take it away, that's the only thing that you're gonna focus on is that takeaway. Just visualize that ball being out there. Take it out here and feel the soul gliding through the earth. That's kind of the secret sauce of golf. Feel the soul gliding through the earth. We're getting it. There you go. So what will happen is you'll start hitting these high shots that'll go a little right. That's exactly what we want. Those are the manageable shots. And then all you have to do to start correcting those and straightening those things out is start trying to swing the club more to the left, meaning the handle of the club is, keeps coming left. That's what's going to square your club face now that you've done everything correctly. So as that ball goes right, I'm gonna pull the handle more left. That starts getting that face more and more square. So as you can see, it's a great shot, 191 carry, it's hit it solid, but I want it to go a little more straight so I'm gonna pull that handle now more toward my left pocket and that will square the club face. And now, see, now you have consistency in your 200 yard game. And they're not gonna go all over the place. You're gonna carry it the number you're looking for. Now you're ready to dominate from 200. Good luck to you. Love you guys. See you in the next video.